can't argue with how someone feels. I understand. You know what I mean? Feeling is king when it comes to things. I'm not arguing your feeling. And how, you know, I'm patient enough to understand it. Most people will not be. They'll just be like, I, that guy's such a prick. He thinks he knows everything. So, you know, you got to figure out the way to talk to people. Or don't care when they all don't, but they're not all crazy. There's a fee, you can't tell somebody their feeling is invalid. You know. But that, that, that's what, that, yeah, you say that, but you do that constantly. Um, well, you know, because that's, you think, you, you, you're always thinking you're doing the right thing when it happens. But I haven't gotten into a million scuffles this year with people. This year because you avoid them. Because I've learned the appropriate way to handle things. And I don't fucking avoid them. How is this the one time that I handled myself, which I thought is how adults should handle things, you know, but maybe I'm in a world full of fucking kids and I haven't met an adult yet in this fucking scene. So maybe that's the problem because I thought that was the most responsible thing I've ever done and the way how I calmly explained no, right. What no, you're doing. absolutely. No, when you started, absolutely. And the fact that now that's what I do. Oh yeah, I'm the softy. I say whatever that. I want to whoever I want all the time. I say exactly what is on my mind. I don't ever walk on eggshells with anybody. You know that more than anyone. How could you possibly? And I even saw a listener in the chat. Yeah, Mike is. Uh, <laughs> Mike just cares about what people. Are you fucking getting me? Are you kidding me? I mean, that's that's ridiculous. You know, and especially the one time I decided to do it because I think I'm doing it for the good. You know, that's crazy. Uh, well, it's it's hard to take a lot of shit from you and from everybody and not be able to criticize you at all on this show. So either we can say mm -hmm. you can't criticize me at all, yeah, but which is fine. Else but if you if, if we're going to be talking then we're talking i'm i don't yeah. uh, maybe i'm not aware of the, the people no, listening no, because yeah. the relationship is a little different uh you do owe to show me more respect than i show you i believe because i have gone out of my way to a person who disrespected me before i even really knew I him but you did you disrespected me more than i did you okay if you, and, and this and, is true I disrespected you by coming over and doing your show for free. I didn't even know you. And, and talking to people out at your porch. Is this what you're, is this what you're talking about? Yeah. I disrespected you. You did. You make a guy's... If someone made your girlfriend cry, Ryan, would you care what his excuse was? Or would you That's just be like... That's not a disrespect to you if she's like crazy. See, this is nuts. She's nuts. I'd be upset. Ryan, if Drew made your girlfriend cry, regardless of his explanation, whose side would you be on? I, I believe... I understand why you took that side. That's not what I'm saying. But the fact when you took it that that's far, disrespe it's disrespectful to me. You might not care that you're being disrespectful to me because uh -oh. you thought. But I didn't know you. I didn't care. I didn't know you either. No, I know. And the fact that I, regardless of all that, where I was done with you at that point, saw a clip of yours, liked your comedy, brought you to the well, club. That, that's the ultimate. I've gone out of my way to give you shows. When everyone in the world said, why do you keep booking Drew? I go, because he's good at this. You don't think I get the same thing on my end? You honestly don't think people go, why do you hang out with that guy? Cause I why are you friends shows? with that guy? Okay. I don't, I don't hang out with you because you give me shows. Um, I don't hang out with Bert Haas. I understand that. I hang out with you because, you But know, you need to give, you, you know, you just need to, somebody. I think you want me to be a little, you know, no. uh, not vocal or something with you. Uh, no. Like, it's like just, a little, like, you know, I'm you, you know. I'm the show, you know, and you've had a problem with our listeners problem they don't like what i say i don't think because okay. you come off the wrong way and i've been keep trying to tell you this could be such a good thing for you and the minute you came on here today you've been well it's impossible when especially now it's not impossible everyone listens what did for i say you i said come on the show for you they listen for you yes nobody's listening and if you're un incapable of dealing with that then that is the also your hated issue. all sorts of people. No. They hated uh, we TJ haven't Miller. had any hated... problems on this show in a very long time Who? with anybody. There hasn't been any incidents. People come here, we do the show, everyone gets along. The shows are funny. Listen, I'm just saying. You know, the minute 
if you're going to criticize me you know. on a personal level and talk about my trust issues, that's fine. I am not, I have no problem assessing that, but then we're, then I'm not going to sit here and just make it about me. I'm going to talk about what sure. I see in you too. Sure. And it's not in a disrespectful way. It's not in an ungrateful way. Of course. That is how I deal with okay. friends. Okay, but I'm not the one who is suffering with issues. What do you mean? Based on the way I'm acting. I, okay, here's, here's why this is different. I am going out of my way, investing my time in helping you, comedy-wise. Okay? Now, by you coming on the show and making that harder for me to do, it's disrespectful to me. You are not trying to help me, comedy-wise. You understand? I am. And the problems that I How have... not? are not affecting my comedy career, which is what I'm trying to help you with. The things that I bring up aren't personal things that I'm upset with you about. It's about the things you're doing that are going to essentially hurt everything you're trying to do with comedy. And that's why I brought it up. I go, this is what the comedians you should know are talking about. This is what Kyle Kinane's talking about. This is what the club in Madison. This is what Eric Kyle Yoder's Kinane, talking he's about. He's never even met me. This is what, who? He's shaking his hand once. Who? Who? Kyle Kinane. Who, like, like, I, you just had a whole thing with him. On, on Facebook. Facebook. This is not real life, It is real man. life. The it people is. It's who are my friends. But. Would, I mean, like, yes, would they say, yeah, Drew, he, sometimes he's eccentric. You're trying to be a comedian. So you do have to follow those rules. Or make your own. But you're not making your own because you want to play clubs. You want to be in part of the comedy Yeah, and I'm banned from industry. a couple. And it's going to keep happening. You want to get banned from mine? I, I mean, how much do you want, want to, to offend everybody? From your club? Why would I want because that? Because people will only put up with so much, and you kind of have to treat people with respect and how they want to be treated if you want something that they have to offer. I don't think it's respectful to treat someone how they want to be treated because everyone wants to be treated like they're the best. Of course. But, you, you know. Listen, I, I will say this, and yeah. so you can have it on record. Uh, I, I don't know if there is a bigger supporter of what you do in this scene. Than me, other than you and Kyle. Say that one more time. I don't know if there is a bigger supporter of what you are doing than me. Of course, but your support does not help me as much as well, my support helps you. Just because it. I'm not in a position I don't of need, power. Just because you like it, that it's regardless of like if you... You think it's because I write on Facebook that it's a good club or go see... That's not the support. How about the hours that I understand, you talk about that you have to vent you, about all your things I that I help it. you with? True. I mean, like you, you're, you like it's it's different because I don't. I'm not. I'm not. Thing. But I'm not in any sort of turmoil with the, with what I'm doing. You are constantly, and you tell me about it all the time. No, no, no. I mean, I'm what I do and how I act has not affected what I'm trying to do with with comedy and what I'm trying to do with the club or the show. When I mention something to you, it's because I don't want you to blow this opportunity. I understand. This is bigger. I don't know why people don't understand how big of an opportunity this is. To be able, I mean. No, I do. That's why I was getting mad that people were bothering you know, me during it. You guys all complain about how there's no money. Oh, I have no money and no one has any money. Well, I figured out a way to get money and fans and no one wants to take advantage of that. They come on. Everyone who comes here makes fun of the listeners. They're all 15 and idiots, right? You know, and it's constant. You're an entertainer now. People are allowed to talk bad about you. Get used to it. This is what happens. That's fine. And then you shit on... I also on get messages from people who say that like, the complete opposite, how they're all wrong. So, like, you know... Okay. Um, but... This is great radio, that, by the way. You guys, this is awesome radio. Why I'm getting upset. I don't upset. know if you're being so I mean, No, I'm being very not. serious. This is, yeah. Why I'm getting upset is because I'm watching you. I'm, I'm handing you the keys to do what you want to do with comedy because your style of comedy will work best to, when you develop a fan base. And you're not reaching out to any of these people. You come in here, you don't show the person that you show audiences when you're doing stand-up. You don't show the person that I know. And I keep talking to you about this. And regardless, when you come on this show, not that I can't handle it, but if you're sitting here insulting me and arguing with me all the time, no, they're not going to like you because you're not having I'm fun with us. insulting you. I know, but no, radio does not work. It's not about, it's not a complex that I have. Radio does not work when the co-hosts constantly at the points that the host is trying to make. 
And regardless if that's a booking uh, issue that d just doesn't mesh, it doesn't work good like that because nothing ever happens. The radio show thrives on the host having a viewpoint. And sure, there can be arguments with it, but I can't give a whole 20-minute speech that I no, truly believe, and then you go, mm -hmm, it's not in it. You know, it's like Corolla wouldn't surround himself with people like that. Nobody does. Nobody keeps bringing people on that constantly put a chink in the chain. And those chinks are repulsive. I have roommates with one. Thrown into volcanoes. You know, two birds. Well, Opie and Anthony is not to express Opie and Anthony's viewpoints. This is an Opie and Anthony. But you said a radio. You're, you said radio doesn't work. I mean, like it doesn't. Opie and Anthony would never have on a returning person who the fans don't like and constantly gives the host a hard time about stuff that he believes in. It's. it's why would anyone want to do that? I, I. Okay. This whole show. I could think of like four times where it's like arguing for the sake of arguing. And that's what people are talking about. It's like, you know, and I understand it's not supposed to be, you're supposed to agree with everything. But, you know, why try to make me look like I just spent all that time saying something that I believe in and then just basically saying it's not true? You're not trying to add to the argument or find out what is right. You're just saying, no, you're wrong. No, I'm not. The attitude is. Maybe literally is. The attitude. It is. I don't know what the... Then why would I complain? Because I would want to get my ass kicked, kissed? I don't know. I'm not you. It needs to jive. Regardless of if I'm right or wrong. There needs to be a through, a through line. I understand. And nobody else makes it an issue. Yeah, because... If you don't agree with something uh, on somebody else's slugs. show... slugs. Okay. And that's what I mean about showing a little extra respect for what people do. When I watch your stand-up shows, if you're saying something, I could I yell out in the crowd? Can I yell out? No, but you Drew, have a microphone. stop talking about God. If I gave you a microphone and said this is our duo, then yes, you could. Um, okay. Okay. I, I mean, like, point. that's all, that's what I, yeah. the, the problem what is. What I'm saying is I give you that added support even though I don't think you're right. A lot of the times, but I know you're somewhere close to right. The intentions uh, intentions are there, and you give people passes. It can't you can't pick at everything. It's like when you're in a relationship with a girl, you're going to be bothered by a ton of shit, and you kind of got to pick and choose the battles. It can't just be constant, and that's what that really is. What it comes down to, it's like. You gotta give people a little wiggle room. You, you are probably one hundred percent right about that. And that's what people. It's like too much. It's yeah. like God. Am I ever gonna be okay in the eyes of Drew? And it comes off as very tough to be around you. And that's what people are responding to. And the fact that I have to do it, I, I think I know you better than a lot of these comics in the scene. The fact that it comes down to me getting annoyed by it means a lot. I think it means a lot. Especially because I'm trying to be your biggest supporter and sell you constantly to everybody. But it makes my job very hard when now I don't want to do that. You know? And that's where I'm saying it's time to give me the wiggle room on a few things. Uh, you're, you know, you're probably right. Especially when I'm trying to make a point on my own show. I mean, why, me <clears throat> why go out of your way to make me look stupid when you don't have to? You know? Well, I think that's kind of rude. I wouldn't do that to you. If you were in an argument... That you were trying to win with somebody wouldn't sit here, belittle you in front of them. You know, it's not productive to your point, which, you know what no, I mean? No, that's fair. I understand. I, I, I completely understand what you're saying. And you're right. There, It's probably too much. Like, it doesn't have to be everything. But what I will say is that the intention is not to make you look stupid. I it's understand. to help you find. I understand. Like, well, you're not seeing this perspective. Sure, sure, sure. And everything you say is going to yeah, come yeah. from your own vantage point of you know and, and oftentimes that's you know it's narcissistic it's uh it's myopic it's narrow-minded and so if i say well here's this hypocrisy that i notice it's not an attack on you i'm not calling you a hypocrite of and a fraud course. i understand that's something for you to think about and rectify and if you can't then i know but you you're know. still you know a lot of people don't it's, want it's to tough. hear it it's very tough to listen to 
No one wants to be talked to like a child, especially from their friends and especially from people, you know, that you give so much opportunity and go out of your way for, you know. And, you know, at the end of the day, you are the one who is going to have to deal with that. Not everybody else. Because everybody else is just going to go, It'll be fine. this is no, I know. too much. You know, and it's, you know, this show will keep going on regardless of if you have made me mad on it one day. However, you know, the what what does that say? Okay. So that's what you need to think about. And you really, it is, you know, you have to make decisions. Do I piss off this guy? Or is it worth, can I live with this one? Can I, can I let that go? I would pay for this, by the way. Like this radio. You want to plop just down 150 and get another hour? I yeah, I think so. They seem to hate it. I don't think that's, that's a very one thing that... Like, that was a very honest display. Like, you never see that. Like, most radio shows is like, hey, what's your bit? Let's do this bit. Sure, yeah, yeah. Two friends just had a very honest I don't know why that's not exchanged. appreciated. I thought and I... And that, uh, that should be totally, I think, totally respected. Two guys who love each other and have a very vested business interest together just had a talk. It's, it's, I don't know if either of us is capable of love. Yeah, yeah. I was very presumptuous with that part sure. of the of the story. Uh, but yeah, nothing works out when everybody gets. You can't get passionate about. So passionate with people that you're yelling and get. You know, it just. You know, can get rough. Oh, sure. Oh, oh I know. Yeah. You but, act, but, you, yeah. you act like I've never been me before. <laughs> never been you. I've never been me. See, before. now you you have a smile. Well, I, I there were been I, 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 you know, I try to pull it back with the whole uh, I know, I Sahar know. sex video thing. You know, and then you had these dopes. Are they gone? Right. The dopes. That guy was handing you the goddamn burrito, and he wouldn't leave. By I, the way, am I? I'm was not very an asshole Seinfeld, for rejecting the way, fist burger, am I? Not at all. I said no. I thank you. That's yeah. very nice. And she's like, take it. You, you can do all of this stuff if you added just a. A hint a of smile. charm. It's hard, man. It's so, you know. I think his finger was actually in the burrito. The was that a bit? Time. Is he a comedian? Was that like him being funny? Who is Eddie? He's an intern. Why does... I go... I don't recognize him. He's always at the club. What you does gotta, he do? You gotta hire like way more interns than you need and have most of them do nothing, but they're just like on deck so when you want to frivolously fire somebody... Hey, uh, Mike, by the way, uh, Eddie told me tonight that... Uh, my personal banker, Ethan, was like, hey. What's that? Your personal banker. So, so my boy, Eddie, your, your boy, Eddie, the intern. Yeah. Do you know him personally? No, not at oh, all. Okay. He looks like the mascot But apparently, the restaurant, here, here, here's, here's what he yeah, told me tonight. He, he goes, hey, man. A little skinnier, though, maybe. I went into Chase Bank the other day to open a checking account. Your boy, Ethan, was like. Your boy, hey, Ethan. Hey, you work for Red Bar. You should book my fucking boy and whip down a card. He's like. I'm gonna get him up. I'm gonna get, it, 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 yeah. fire him immediately. <laughs> Call him right now and say, "Lose my number." Done and done. Uh, yeah, I didn't like his burrito display. Was he all fucked up? Zahar, was he on drugs or drinking tonight? Was he supposed to be working this at all? No. Or no, he just drove here. Okay. I really want to. I don't want them getting fucked up. I don't know why one person can't take this thing seriously. Sure, sure, sure. That's why I was asking. That's fine. But you're still, it's like, how do you just come over? This is an intern. I remember when I got an internship, all I did was try to impress those people. I wanted to get a great reference from them. I wanted to work <laughs> yeah, up and do something. Maybe that's why he was giving the burrito to us. Here? How do you come Look over what I found. <laughs> to someone you work for's house that barely even knows you work for them? And you're high and drunk and, and bothering <laughs> yeah. him. He's back from the hunt. I, just, I don't understand. These kids, yeah. they just think they're going to all be rich just because they waited out. When, when, when I'm 40, I'll be, I have to be rich, right? Sure. Isn't that what happens when you're 40? You sure. get rich. That, to me, is so troublesome. You put the time in, you get the so money. So how hard, how hard it. is it to keep replenishing these interns? Because I feel like after a week, if they don't show any sort of motivation or respect for what's happening, just get rid of them. I don't need them around. It really is bad for it. It's getting very loose. You know, everybody, I don't, it's probably poor management on my part. You're too far removed, But anything Mike. I can do, too far removed I am. From the, from, from the yeah. grassroots, I but, think. you know, it almost has to be everybody goes. You've got you to start with the start roots. Over. You start at the, you know, the bottom. Yeah. Well, it's going to force me 
to take out a business loan and hire professionals. That's what it's it's telling me. Man. Because I don't think there's one person who is taking this seriously. And maybe that's because I'm too crazy. Maybe you do have to run it like a dork boss in order for things to work the right way. We just said it's going to force you. What's it's? What's, uh, what's the force? It. Uh, the, Their lack of The lack focus. of. Really? I'm just being did, ridiculous. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, that, it's just a lack I'm, of discipline. I'm taking you overly literally. I just don't understand. These people are around for a long time, some of these interns, and it's like, why? Just to sit around and watch us work? Well, I, 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 I don't know I where, don't where, think where people have lots going on. <laughs> but I would not. I, yeah, I know. You can't. And the problem is, you know, I, I always picture like what a, I would do, but that's not what anyone would do. Like, you have to look at it from the perspective of somebody who's not yeah. a part of this. This is not their life. Corolla was talking about the same exact... It, it, I, I mean, it kills me. It really kills... Every day, it's like he's just telling my life story on a different scale and different circumstances. Yeah, yeah. But he was talking about this, too. He goes... Uh, and I hate to keep quoting him, but it's like, he, the, you know, it's... it's. I like to refer... I, I like what he says. For the most part, I think he knows what he's doing. So I like to reference him. But he said... He's when he was a carpenter starting out, and uh, he was working, and somebody told him, "Hey, no, 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 use the rent, do it like this." He goes, "Well, I don't know anything about carpentry. I want to make more money, so I, I will listen to him. He knows what he's doing. I'll listen to him." Um, and I wouldn't say, "No, it's not. Uh, this way we're fine." No, he's like, "I would just do it," and he goes. You do not see that attitude anymore. And he's talking about his interns and the people who work for him. Just not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Telling people, having to do the job of everyone because nobody listens. Why do you think that is? I, don't, I really don't know. I don't know. I think it's just so, it's like, you go to college, get a diploma, you're going to get a great job. I think that's what people think. I don't think they think that there's any such thing as elbow grease anymore. Well, I was, I was thinking about this actually today... Uh, the fact that we've kind of given up on the idea of like we we want we want it, the, the whole instant gratification thing like we want it, we, if it's not awesome right away then fuck it yeah when in actuality there's a lot of things that take a lot of hard work there's struggle there's sacrifice but in the end the the payoff is greater it's more satisfying it's richer sure it's a real feeling yeah, of yeah. like oh look at the fucking shit I if you right. build a something or if you or b whether literally or figuratively you build a a show or you you literally build yeah. a car or there's like you know it, yeah it sucks to screw in the fucking nails of the whatever that's shitty and that's not fun yeah but when you finish the car or when you know when you send out emails to fucking advertise that, that's shitty or when you're booking and looking through clips it's boring but like when you build a club of course that, that's based on all that work it's deeply deeply satisfying right um uh, and, and, and people have lost sight of that but I but i feel like you have to be challenged to do that you know what i mean like there's sure. so many people that aren't challenged to that level well, because they're given so much shit that it's immediate you watch this show you got dvd you got netflix yeah. you got video games dvr you got, Porn, you could jerk off in a minute. You could sure. just all this stuff. Just like you have your phone, you could text a million friend, a million. Yeah. Fr you could text all your friends in ten seconds. Right, you could, you could, all of them. Just yeah. and then Everything now all thinking. my friends yeah. know exact Twitter. All my friends know what I'm thinking. Sure. This is a picture of my fucking stupid dinner that I cooked or whatever with my person that I think I'm in love with. Right, yeah, like everything is very easy. Yeah, it's not like you even have to try to get into college. Which, that's the biggest mistake. And I get it, the colleges want to make money. But you're not teaching them anything. All you're teaching them is, oh yeah, all you got to do is take out a student loan, which anybody could do. Come to college, do the bare minimum, you will pass with no education. Well, the, the craziest, like in high school now, college is just what you do. Everyone that's goes what to I college. Mean. It's crazy. So you're not teaching them to work for anything. It's just given to them. You should have to like really try to get frowned college. upon. College should go. Why should we take you? Every one of them. This kind of goes why? back to. Why uh, we, but they don't care. It's a business. Great. It's yeah. just a business. This kind of goes back to like. Uh, no one's being taught. Critiquing anything. your peers. It's competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's it's okay. It's okay to look at somebody and yeah. say, "Hey, I'm better than you." Yeah. Because we're, we're like we're all striving for something. It's all. I don't really care. I, I want to be better than yeah. you. So why can't I say that I'm better than you if I feel like I'm better than you? That's what I want. Are you talking about in this comedy now. 
Well, no, just in general, like you were talking about why can't I critique my peers or why why do I have to say nice things about people who do stand up? But Mike can say whatever he wants. You were saying oh, that earlier. Yeah, well, not why. I know why. Yeah, but no, but I'm it's saying it's, it's all like things. Well, of course, I'm not questioning your yeah, judgment yeah, yeah, of yeah, how yeah. people exist. I'm just saying, like, you question, like, it's okay to be competitive and say, I am better than you at this thing. And I think that, and I'll prove that right now. Like that's okay. That's well, human dude. nature, right? Uh, what well, com? I don't. Comedy's not competitive in a sense. I mean, there is. Yeah, I mean, there are people who are. Well, I'm talking to generalities. Like to us, right. it's comedy, but to anyone else listening, it's whatever they do. Bagging groceries. If you bag it faster and better than anyone, and no one's eggshells break, good for you. Do it better than everyone that you can. Who cares? Yeah. Well, just do it like with the you know with the attention that it deserves whatever it is right so if it's, if it's yeah if it's something creative artistic then you have to put a lot of work in because right. it's not as, but like yeah I just don't know why people are so uh, you know they expect it to be I don't know if they expect it to be easy or quick sure they do uh, of course and, and that's the thing we live in a reality TV culture everybody sees instant celebrities and they're like man it's like the lottery if I go out and do this small amount of thing and I get on this one show, then my life is made and I have my millions and I'm done and I'll cash out. It doesn't work that way, though. But people don't realize that. You know, they see it and they're like, all right, I'll be a celebrity. Sounds good. No, but nobody wants, nobody really thinks they're going to be a celebrity. Everybody thinks they'll be a no, celebrity. No, these people who like sit in a, you know, they don't think they're going to be a celebrity. No, Office but every, workers. everyone really is under the impression that it's just all going to work out. Everybody thinks no, they right. should Everyone be a celebrity. Everyone thinks you turn 30 and then magically you get they a suit. They really do. What people don't understand is one day you're going to be 40 and you're going to go, oh my God, this sucks. You have right. to do it. And then it's it's over. Let me ask you a question, Drew. How many people, like, especially with your stand-up, it's very well thought, it's it's very deep. How many people come up to, come up to you after a show and been like, hey, here's a funny joke you should tell on stage? Like, that's those people oh, thinking sure. that they should be a celebrity. That's those people thinking, like, hey, I'm on your level. I totally get it. Here's my well, dumb urinal generally joke. generally men emasculated by the fact that another man made them giggle. Well, okay, of course. We have to do this because we have gone over, and I still want to keep this on track, in hopes to redeem some sort of thing. We'll be fine. I don't know if the You'll listeners have any interest in getting us to our goal, which will be a very, you know, tough thing to deal with. But, you know... Uh, Sahar's know. writing right now, though. She is writing. Which is I know Sahar's writing, but she did just text me saying we do not have enough uh, money to go to the next hour. Technically, if I was following any sort of rules with this thing, that would be where we end the show, right? Because they didn't donate enough to go to the next hour. Mm -hmm. However, you guys, I need to keep going because this needs to end on an awesome note. It needs to get funny. We're scheduled... Uh, when when would twenty hours be eight a.m. Is that what you said? Well, if you started at noon and did an hour every hour. Okay, we started at one. So that's nine a.m. Okay, I will do this show. Okay, if we pay for the original twenty hours, um, I will do. What can I do? I will do till eleven a.m. Oh my lord! Okay, that's one groggy. That's uh, one groggy snubfest judge. Just for the record, fuck snubfest. I'd cancel on snubfest before <laughs> I would let this go to shit. Um, because the, you know this is, snubfest. Who cares? It's not going to do anything for me. I just wanted to do it because I thought it would be fun to. It's very you know, generous. It's a very generous thing. Sit there doing. with these. You know. Yeah. I'd make short order omelets for us before I would let this go to shit. Um, short. Oh, wow. I really want it to be good. It's very nice. I don't know right. who I have to call in to make this good. I know that the first cup. I, I mean, it just hasn't been funny in a long time. Not funny enough. Yeah, no, no. And the awkwardness has to be breezed out of the fucking studio. You know, let me take a pee. Give me one hour. Um, I'm no longer talking with, to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would, uh, you know. Yeah. Be, uh, it would um, be a choice. No, I've actually, when I was tech, I was tech calling the police. <laughs> <laughs> right, it would be, be not, it would, you know, I don't want to yeah, yell yeah, yeah. at my drunk idiot friends, but you, yeah. I'm going to have the police Starting a new you. show called Drew is Done. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get yeah. rid of me, is the police. Sure. This is the most direct way. It'll be on the you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah this is me being the direct. Well, you. I hate you. Oh, yeah, yeah, there, Sean. Look at this mess on TV. Oh, trying my Lord, a, that's not, that's, this I is know. a... 
They're showing a very disgusting woman in a bra. With a very less disgusting woman explaining to her how to be less disgusting. Holy shit. Five. Okay, it's 5 a.m. So we really only need, in this, Sahar, was this technically the 13th hour or 14th hour or what is all that? This was the 13th. So, oh my God. Come on. Let's what just is say, that? come on. What everybody, is that come on. If you're awake. I really, I can't think. How many hours more do we? Oh, good. I'm like, I, glo- I love when people can't tell things. <laughs> Some of my favorite stuff I can't tell. Yeah, you guys share this stuff if we can't tell. I'm going to start a show going, I can't, I can't tell with nobody. It's just a microphone in an empty room and nobody does anything and <laughs> nobody enjoys it. Right, right. Oh, yeah. so I saw, oh, uh, yeah. I can't. Why does that bother you? I want us? to give the listeners what they want and I'm willing to open that to uh, phone calls. I mean, I really feel like I have not brought it and uh, I feel like, uh, you know, I was... I'm always in the mo- I'm in the mood to bring it. This is what I love doing. You know the, the- but I it, you know that was impossible. And you know what? Every person who made it impossible, I really am going to deal with, and I'm going to make sure they know. The irony is that I the reason I I got mad is because I came with that attitude too. I don't, you know. No, I, don't, I know. I don't but- take this lightly. It's not, you know. And I it, whatever. Kyle texts me. How's it going? What do you write back? The worst. Oh, going- you gotta just. And Kyle helped out a great deal today. The Zen. Yeah. You know, what did he do? One hour? It was great. That's another, you know. And we you did an hour. The thing is, like, you could yell at one person. You yell at two. When you yell at more than ten, you know, they. Well, look, they're gone. Then, the the, yeah. uh, the wake is, is over. Of course, yeah. of course. Of course. There's Ripples a new energy out. in this apartment right now. No, I don't feel that. I do feel it. It's a very new. But I'm also re- coming. Regenerated. Yeah. I think we should all sit here I've been and jack off a foot to one job. video. <laughs> yeah. I've been would we ever, a good would foot four job. guys be able to agree on one porn? Four guys, one off? video? Yes. Well, I think as long as it's not a video of four dudes jacking off, we'd be okay. That's what I will do. If we can do this show till 9 a.m. like scheduled, like planned. We will transition from shit to fun by sitting here and jacking off on cam to a porn for an hour. And I'll one-up you and say that it'll come on the lens of the webcam. Drew will stand doggy style jerking off with his ass towards the cam. Doggy, yeah, can like we the definitely man, the have man that doggy gross style the girl? We'll, it, it will be very will separated. Be on your we hand. won't be touching each other. We'll be very separated. So that is the deal. Self-coming. Um, I will also dress up like a 26-year-old. And that'll get real hot because it's like a young guy. What are you gonna put on a t-shirt with graphics on it? <laughs> I'm just gonna put on a <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. What would you do? Do you have any skinny ties? Of course. Oh, uh, why? Yeah, I think the I, I, don't know, I you, just I think the listeners put like on a graphic skinny tie. tee and burn twenty percent of your money. Yeah, that's how you. Do you have any plaid coats? I'm really open to what I really want to do is give the listeners exactly what they want, and I don't know because you only see the people you know the people who write on here are somewhat you know. Out of their mind. <laughs> so, you know, but all I saw every time I glanced was I hate everything, you know. And that's not what the point of this was. I didn't go, I want to do a show where all the people who love us hate it. And then they feel like they wasted right. their money. Uh, and then you go to Kyle, who's been sleeping or doing God knows what all day and probably does that all week. Um, but if you, you want to say, say faggot, type it instead. It's safer. Just tap. Instead just of saying it? faggot. Yeah, just. Yeah, with a moniker. Yeah. Alias. Yeah, just yeah. Some sort of alias name. I've got Obama's personal phone number. I was gonna call him, call him the N word. Do yeah. a prank, so Obama prank. Can you imagine? Sahara, any updates Does on that? Does he have uh, a donations? phone? Does he own a, like a cell phone? You've checked. There's nobody donated after that. Really? And there's not enough. I mean, I I can't believe this. No? Unbelievable. I hold all of them personally responsible. Every person who destroyed this. And there really was not like, you know. Hmm. Man. You should send them in voices. I'm trying to think what I should do and who to blame. And this has been such good radio. That's What's a that? thing. That's a, It's been really good radio. Like, I've enjoyed sitting here with headsets on listening to you and Drew hash this out. Like, that's been really enjoyable for me. Um, I yeah, actually just laid out of money. your mind. Oh, I'm very high. Yeah. And I also just put money on the table. You know, that's good. Where? Right there. Money. 
Yeah. What? You wrote this? No, you didn't. Oh, no, it's like a it? ransom note. No, what the hell is going on? Sahar, check that again, will you? Let's see if we have enough money to do another hour so we can get this thing back on track. What happened? Who? What's his name? First name. A man named Sergio. Obviously fake. He's Hispanic and he has $100. A young what you man doing? out there named Sergio just donated $100. Thank you very much, Sergio. This is like Celebrity Apprentice. It's amazing Sergio had $100. Sergio, it is amazing. That is very... Look at... You know, it's very... That's very crazy. You know? Very nice. Heartwarming. And that's why I, I really feel responsible for giving them their money's worth. I will just continue to stay up until something hits. You know yeah. what I mean? You have to. The you show must to. go on. You can't let them leave going, yeah, those that, that was... You know, there's a lot of people you're upsetting. You're an entertainer. Um, you have tattoos ooh. that show when you're And then I'll go back to hate have them, to. But. Why don't we all have a splash of whiskey in honor of Sergio? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, oh, do I still have? I hid the bottle I down here you from have Junior. The, yeah, the anti-Junior stash. No, we should have hid all of it. I didn't think he would go for that disgusting stuff. but And that was, that was of course, called. Who's thirsty? Junior. Everybody. I okay. called that. The minute we started booking this, I go, he's going to I know. do this again. You know, and, and he's never going to be welcome back on anything like this again. I got a full one, so I'll be good, but. Cheers. I'm, I'm all right. Cheers. Thank you guys Don't for mind sticking if I with do. it. Kenny DeForest and Ryan Durden are here, by the way. It's a pleasure and Ryan, to be we didn't here. even get to talk about Neger. Not yet. By the way, that's not another attempt to be uh, really, as James said, that's just lazy. <laughs> you just steal from people. It's dead. No, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. No, I'm not. Figure it out yourselves. Uh, Neger is the name of our Weezer cover band, but let's well, take a nice drink. Cheers. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you, listeners. Thanks can you believe us, that Mike. these are the two that stick around? I can believe it. Again, I go back to the word of the day, telling. It's very telling. People also here, desperate, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's I know, telling. I know. It's telling. Uh, uh, no, it's what I, you have else going on. Yeah. I wasn't saying telling of you, telling of. If I had something you know to wake up for tomorrow, I would do it. But you I should be I here. Don't. The people who work the club the most. Yeah, because this is right. Which, which you know, this is what I want. You have here. an opportunity. Yeah, I no, I know, I know, but you still screwed it up. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll accept that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I know, I know why you can't. Look, look at me. I'm committed. Mm. I'm not a. I, I have the ability to do good stuff here. Uh, we'll do it. Yeah, I know. It'll be fine. I have to pee so badly. I know. Why don't we take a break? Your dogs didn't kill your. My intern, dogs have the died. Way. They've died. <laughs> They're done. They've, yeah, I they forgot. Fuck and make man. new dogs. I looked in there the, the other day. Died. They were both bleeding. The new bleeding. dogs eat the old dogs as food, and they grow into the old dogs. They were yeah. gasping for air. I said, "This is uh, give it a rest." All dogs go Chulo's, to Chulo's, hell. You're on Chulo 16. That's what we learned today. All jo- Chula. Yeah. Okay. Chula. 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 Oh, who the? F- it's a boy. Who has ever even called them by his name? <laughs> He doesn't know anyone. He, they haven't seen a soul. <laughs> Do they even know what life is? He's been is? blindfolded since birth. And you know what? There's not a glimpse of anything different in their eyes. <laughs> they, don't know. they don't know shit. All they know <laughs> is that they love licking my cum, <laughs> and their paws are a delicious snack. I don't even know that they know that... He can like smell like, it from across the room. I don't think they I know will come they like licking it. And like clockwork, every time I come, the little dog from... He'll be sleeping. It'll wake him up, the scent. Is it when it hits the and ground, he will come. your body, or the air? As soon That's as your best friend. Up. That's your best friend. And I friend. always say no, and then I go, well, I don't have to bend down and clean it. He likes it. Let him enjoy but the cup. Do you cum. think he knows that? Well, he's not going to get pregnant. Do you think that he knows that he likes it, or do you think he just instinctively likes it? It smell. It's just taste. I think good. he's like sitting around waiting, like, oh, I hope he comes soon. I like it. They I like, like the cum. They're assholes. I Please mean, tell me you give him a special treatment for that. How do you begrudge a dog? It's your own semen. I think it probably doesn't help that you come Heathcliff fish skeletons. Uh, I love tiny, Heathcliff tiny little fish skeletons. skeletons. You come. Uh, what's that? Uh, Bagging strips. Sure. Yeah. 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 He's not a cat, for God's sakes, Ryan. No, but you True. know, 
Okay, so you think about it. Why wouldn't you let a dog lick your cum? Because it feels wrong, right? Where is he licking it off of? It om- the floor. You come on the floor? Well, when I'm at my computer sometimes a little bit. Where am I going to shoot it? Your body? I don't know. Same um, socks. I don't know what I try to do. Cups. I try Why don't to you let just loose. shoot it directly into Shirts. your dog's mouth? Because then you're committing Cows. an act of <laughs> sexual violence Head towards hands. a pooch. <laughs> violence? Section 971, gay dog, faggot dog. Kleenex. Wait, is that is that uh, violence? Vi- if he's I think if balls. I said, police officer, I want to invite you over. Just watch this. And then I jerked off into a dog's <laughs> mouth. He would go, I think I have to shoot your dog. <laughs> dog I, we love shooting dogs. the dog's dog. like sitting because there like the you dog. just got home with a new tennis ball. Well, hopefully you. Okay. Is it wrong if my, my dog does? Uh, uh, oh, what do I do? He can eat your cum. That's like crazy, right? You're not. You're not like saying. I'm not you making fucking eat it. I t- first. Like you do to your girlfriend. Believe me, the first seven months, I was like, "Dude, you're acting gay, and I don't like gay people." And he's like, mm. "It's and not then gay I'm like, to eat another well, man's cum." It's not like he's going to eat today anyway. So, and he's very happy. There's six six calories. Would, don't worry, anybody. He's not licking the cum off my fucking dick. Okay. There's this very is, little cum on happen. your dick. And I would tell you. Done coming. Believe me, if it happened, it's going to come out. Right? What? There's very little cum on your well, dick. It depends on how the dick is angled. If, it's, if you come straight up and it goes back down onto the top yeah, of the there's dick. there's cum on the dick. Well, but there's sometimes you don't, you don't even know shoot where. as hard either. Like if you've come a bunch recently, like the most recent cum will be very... Here's the problem. Right, and, and just not exciting. The problem with cum. On your dick. The dribbles. biggest problem with cum is it's not... Wet enough, and it's the same temperature as your body. So the first time it hits you, like the first ten seconds, you don't even know it's on you. You yeah. lose it. It's, it's not fair that you're grossed out by you. it. You have to watch it's it, and then once it. it cools down, you go, "There's come all over me. I'm a gay." <laughs> yeah, well, not that bad. I feel like you That's should fine. feel like you're overjoyed. Take a picture, by it. whatever. Send hits it to you. everyone. I don't know why I'm not just showing all this stuff on Facebook. Oh, yeah, I don't want to lose my privileges. Uh, you know. Can you show a dog eating cum? Is that- I'm trying to figure out, like, should I be embarrassed about having my dog lick my cum? Is that, am I doing anything wrong? No. Or she- Off the floor? Yeah. No. No. But doesn't that sound like I'm a filthy. To each his own. <laughs> to each his own. Whatever he wants to lick is People what like, he wants to lick. Cum on the floor is just got, cum is spotless, by the way. Your dog, Shoes yeah. on the floor, technically more disgusting than cum on the floor. I agree. Okay. If now, my dog licking you know. a floor is disgusting, but my dog licks his paws, which are on the floor all day. My dog is also a naked man running around town. <laughs> Nobody puts on pants on him. His dick is shown to everybody. He's brain dead, and they never eat. They pee in a <laughs> bathtub. I mean, licking my cum is the high point of his it's, life. It's the, one of the most yeah. gross things he does. A squirrel eats from the trash. A fish drinks your fucking urine and shit that's flown no, into we're our all lakes. Bored. Come on. He, Every animal is eating fucking shit. He doesn't they're even have terrible. the courtesy to put on some And feathers. by the way, right. somebody's saying gross while they're shoving Mountain Dew Code Red and Doritos into their mouth. So go get fucked. Come on the floor. Let a dog lick it. And love me. Be That's a libertarian. All all let I'm that saying. dog choose his own fate. I don't you know? understand how you shoot. Like it's, it's, it's not all of it's on the floor, right? I don't know what I do. You want me to show you an example? I'm sitting here, right here, jacking Explain, off the point. Yeah, yeah. I full screen it. I like to lay back. Gotcha. I give myself about... I like the parts where they're either about to have sex or getting dressed at the end. I don't care for the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I jack off, and it goes right... It shoots. It's better... Where else is it going to go? On the keyboard? Am I going to go... I, ah, I, I've always and thought... enjoy the orgasm? I, I like to come close my eyes and... On, uh, you angle it back and come on your... But I'm wearing a dress shirt. Oh, you're wearing button up. Come on black. Do you still wear the blazer? When somebody's outside your door going, why is he opening the door? Do you still wear the blazer when you jerk off? The blazer. The blazer. Oh, yeah. You have to look nice because I'm watching myself on this side on iPhoto or on yeah, photo video booth. preview. So I've got now, a video are, preview are, we talking, are we talking black casual blazer or gray? Like, it's show I like night to wear blazer. a blazer and be naked underneath. Oh. I when I get out of the shower, I put on a blazer as a robe. Oh wow! Oh, yeah, yeah, it's so fancy. And I walk around well, just a blazer bought, with my butt. The blazers that you bought more than a month ago; those are now towels. Yes, <laughs> yeah. It's almost true. I thought you told me you rented <laughs> that a tux mentality. every time and just willingly sacrificed the deposit. 
Sure, like, yeah, no it doesn't deal. matter. Who cares? It's worth it. Yeah, what are they? They're like, it's worth it. it. Just give them an old credit card. You can sure. get a new one. No consequences in this world. <laughs> he wiped his ass with old cummerbunds. Kind of, so, nor, so if the old dog unpaid doesn't for lick a it up, if the dog doesn't, li- he does. No, then I'll wipe it up. So you're on your hands and knees wiping up cum no, off the floor. No, it's not that much cum, Drew. Oh, sweetheart. I come so many times a day that only a little bit is <laughs> coming out. Dribbling. Oh yeah, it's a couple drops. Oh. These aren't big manly loads. These are I've jacked off six times today. Loads. How do you sure. jack off leaks? Your More leaks hurt? than loads. Just little I, leaks. I would not do it if I did. If, uh, you're sitting here all day, and then you'll you'll see an image that they forced down my throat of a woman. There was boobs and on I Facebook. Go, Anybody oh. see it? What Who? are you talking about? Boobs on Facebook. Somebody posted a picture of boobs. No. But they weren't like hers. It was, it was not privy. No, but but like, so you what? can't have that on Facebook. Well, um, you know, you can. They don't know it's they boobs until it's... They it and remo- But I saw course. it. I've seen some photographers. I could put up a picture right thing. now of an yeah. open blood. Here's the thing. I saw it. They were, they were nice boobs. They're like... like they're like That pro- sparks the interest in, oh yeah, I could do that. Do you know who they belong to? No, 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 but they like were clearly like movie actress, nice boobs. It was like a freeze frame on some something. And that made me go, I want to I don't want to see porn star boobs. Oh my god. See- wait, wait, wait. Somebody said, "Okay, I'm out. This is a bit too male friendly for me." Good night, everyone. Wow. Really? Boobs. You can't please everybody. Don't say boobs, yeah, Drew. So I shouldn't read that. This chat is oh, This I'm is sorry. radio. You said the word boobs. I saw a dick. <laughs> You would think I somebody saw would a big hard dick on Listen, Facebook. Have you guys seen these dicks they're we're talking related. about? They're all related. You know to about this these stuff. dicks? I saw. They're all dick. living in the same basement. I saw a dick Everyone and knows. I watched so basement. much porn. Mm. You know what I got in an Why argument with talk about, about love that you do and that everyone does? Yeah. Why does that turn people off? Well, only guys do this. Why doesn't anyone call in with anything? Somebody says the chat is terrible. Don't read us. <laughs> Stop reading. Mike, please check your email. Oh, that's a good idea. When you haven't checked your email in 20 hours and you have like nine very important events coming up. What am I looking for in my email? Because all I see... Oh, no. Fucking guy. Um, you oh, fucking an email guy. from Staples. Hey. Hi. We would like to rip you off tomorrow. Come out to our store. That Hey, we're a giant ugly corporation. Open. Give us your email <laughs> yeah. address. Can you believe we're still open? We'll drain we you for everything you're worth. To, come, to, come to the yeah. store that... The the one section of Amazon, the store. We're the radio yeah. shack of office supplies. Come by one calendar and then be completely robbed of all your winnings. Staples, I dare oh. you to find us. There you go. Oh, That's the it. phones have been off this whole time. I could have had so many people saying that I was right calling in. God damn it. The phones were off? Yeah, somebody turned off the phones. It was probably one of those interns. I was, uh, that was great. I wasn't being sarcastic. That was great radio when you two were going back and forth. Yeah, but that you're, was all, wonderful. you're all messed up on drugs. No, so not at all. I'm world. slightly drunk on whiskey. Okay. That's all. No drugs. Um, no drugs. Just just liquor. Some people like that stuff. Some people get really like they can't deal with like stuff like that. It gets of course. too much. It gets awkward for them. I had, There was a girl. I love observing. I said pussy. Favorite. And she seemed a little uncomfortable, and I was like, "Well, what do you call it? What do you what, like? What do you call, like when you talk about? What do you call it?" And she was very awkward. And about like, the word pussy, I don't really, Pussy's I don't like ever, today? I don't refer to it at all. Look at this. We have like eight hundred built up calls. <laughs> Hello, you're on Red Bar. Nope. Hi. Nope. Hi. Oh, hi. Here's what I'm going to say to you. And hold on, you're there, but just refrain from talking. I want everyone to hear this. I will not take one. Stupid call. So if the minute I hear you say something stupid, it's just going off. There's going to be no feeding into that or anything. So please, I would love to talk with all of you. Just don't call in and try to run a bit on me. I don't even like bits from great comics. So stop. And let's enjoy the calls. <laughs> Hello, you're on the Red Bear Radio Show. Hi, can you hear me good? You sound great. I would love to be friends with a person like you. Love people that are different. <laughs> I just wanted to say some things. Uh, the lines have been closed for no, I know. five hours. Yes, I understand. And I love Drew. I think he had great points. Say that I again? Loved all that. I love Drew. You love Drew. I'm sorry for my shitty Mexican accent. That's Mexican? Well, I guess I'm Mexican. All right. <laughs> $100. What? I'm the one oh, that How much did you $100. donate today, you spick? <laughs> this is Sergio. 
No, sad. This is Andreas, right? Sergio Andres Castro Carenas. Ay, 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 ay. ay. <laughs> By oh, the way, that's S, S uh, Sergio Andres. S. Uh, are you Sergio? Sergio You're not Sergio. I'm Sergio. Oh, you are. You yes. donated a hundred dollars. Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. Why did you do that? And how did you find that money? You robbed something tonight? <laughs> of course, I did it because I love Drew, and I think the whole segment you with him was great. Oh my God, that's great. Look at that, yep. Drew. See, the people you who got through to one guy and he, he donated on dog. The people who like what I do know how to use a telephone and they call. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Pavlov's yeah. dog. And they also live in the middle of nowhere and they're not human beings. Right, and they also can't understand what I'm saying. All right, so. Sergio, thank you. I just got to take another one because you're coming in quick. Hello, you're on the Red Bear Show. Hey, Mike. Hi. How you doing, man? Horrible. Why are you doing so bad? What's that? Why are you doing bad? Have you been listening to the show? Yeah, I've been yeah. listening. Yeah, it's I very trying. You arguing for a million hours. Yeah, okay. You do it. What do you think? I do I'm... what? No, no, no. Hi, how are you? What brings you to call it? Yeah, of course. I know. I'm I've been, very aware of it. I've been listening for 13 hours, and I donated 50 bucks. Oh, wow. That's very nice. Thank you. What do you want to do? You want to go out? Uh, yeah, I kind of do. Get a cup of nothing? What? What did you call in for? I just want to talk to you, Mike. I know. Well, for $500, you could come talk to me for a day. How about I uh, suck your cock? How about what? How about I suck your cock? That's fine. At what point is this, yeah, this is a retarded person. Right? These are the people who are Bye. judging people. <laughs> Uh, I, I would love to take calls. Let's take calls for like 10 minutes. Just call in with anything you've ever wanted to ask. Call, call, call. Because we probably missed call, so call, many calls. Call, 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 call. And we should probably make a Facebook update to let people know this is still happening. People are going to start waking up right now, which is great. And we'll have a whole new crowd coming in. What do you need? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't want to grab another. Sahar, so are there I any other interns planned for today or any other comics coming in? You know, we have till... We have Four more hours. Scott. I will hold fast on this on this podcast. Are you sure? And I will get five. I haven't seen you hold fast at your own house party. I guarantee it. It's done. Really? What do you mean by that? I didn't hold fast at my own house party. You fell asleep at like one o'clock in the morning. Well, I was done with everybody. I wasn't I know, having I fun anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. It Mike, just, just kind of happens sometimes. I'm here to, and happy to help. Let's get the drum set out. Okay. We haven't even talked about Neger or the best. This is Weezer so entertaining. Cover. Like. I don't understand how people can possibly hear this and not be entertained. They all hate it. It's just people being honest I'm and probably real. out of a job tomorrow at the Red Bar place. Yeah. But this is they're firing yourself. For the best. I'm going to go into snub fest. I'm just going to walk in during the middle of the I want everyone to know here, I'm mad, and I'm not doing this. Linda, I just need you to die. He's going to be Andy Kindler, but goodbye. actually pissed off. No, and then I, I'm going to just in the middle of the floor, and then I'm going to say goodbye. Oh, you're doing Snub Fest tomorrow. Yeah, I am. I'm there. You're performing. Do you have your five minutes down? I've never been snubbed from anything. That's the funny part about the whole Except experience. for Hugs that you're done. No, yeah, no, that's why I don't, you know, it's not, it doesn't work. Sahar, we need, um, you don't even have a car. How are you getting home? Yeah, um, but what are we going to do when we're out of things and we need breakfast and all this stuff? That's a good question. You Some, know, there has to be people. A like, short stack just started see, sounding good. See, here's the thing. You can't just book half the show. I so you said breakfast, I thought. 20 omelets. hours. We're going to summon Satan. Everyone bailed. So many peppers Where, and eggs. Why, why do you lend Onions. out your car? Why do you lend your car to people? Your family should be killed. Because they're, they're terrible brown. people. They're all upset. I've never seen them anything but upset with themselves. Are, are donations coming in at all? Or where are we? Uh, you know, keep texting me. Like, you know, every... But yeah, we're going to... I'm almost out of cigarettes because Mike Leibovitz, there's a point of the night where they're kind of both ours. You know, he deserves them. Hello, you're on the show. Mike. Yeah. How hot are you? How hot am I? Yes. Like physically or like heated? Like your temperature. Goodbye. <laughs> Hello, you're on the show. Hello. Hi. 
Hey, what's up, Mike? It's uh, Kevin Lee. How you guys? <laughs> Is it really? You told me. Yeah. You told me. Hi, Kevin. Hey, everybody. Who's in there? I can only see uh, Drew and Mike. Uh, uh, um, Kenny DeForest and Ryan Durden. Okay, so it's like four guys that I don't really want to talk to. Fair well, enough. Good. That was good. You know, no, that really no, no, hurts my feelings because I've so. always wanted to talk to you. Um, I, I was just haven't just, had the well, guts. I wanted to. I don't know what you guys have been talking about for all this time, but um, did you guys read that article in the Reader today? What was it about? About the lion's den. Oh yeah, I re- I remember when they were writing that thing. Why? What? What about it? I didn't read the well, article. Well, I just I just thought, you know, like it's bullshit. The guy Heitzler's covering a story ten years after the fact, and um, I mean, don't you think that? There's that kind of stuff going on in Chicago right now, and he's not really oh, covering it. Yeah, you know what? It you know what that is though. Uh, to be fair to Steve, you know, because you know people do things for some reasons. What Steve's problem is is he's uh, a terrible writer and an idiot, <laughs> and also semi faggoty and a nigger. <laughs> so that's where that's coming from. And also, the reader is probably has less readership than I did when I was in eighth grade. Uh, if you compare readership to listenership. So I wouldn't hold too much credibility with that one. And you probably have, uh, hey, right now, talk about any show you want to, and it, it's being paid more attention to than that reader article was. So uh, Steve Heisler can suck my dick, a.k.a. thank you for Just for Laughs and hooking us up with that. But he knows how I, how I feel about him, and uh, I wish him the best in all of his horrible endeavors. Does oh, that okay. clear things up for you? Because uh, you know, sometimes you don't know where people are coming from. Um, I miss you, Kevin. No, I'm done with L.A., you know. I thought it was cool at first, and then I realized that is not for me. Okay. Well, uh, good talking with you guys. See ya. Uh, thank you, Kevin. Great uh, call. Yeah, and if you want to clip that and send that to Steve, that is fine. I will be able to get out of it in three seconds. Um, let's what if they clip that, no? Uh, yeah, still. <laughs> no it, a retard is a retard. <laughs> They're very dumb t- and easy to trick. Hello, you're on the show. Hey, uh, Mike, what time does McDonald's open? Say that one more time. What time does McDonald's what? open? Yeah. Why? Because I need to go get some burgers. And oh, my God. Sitting. Yeah, that is yeah one of the... How much did you donate today? I donated 50 bucks. I Did you really? told you that. Oh, you're the same guy. Why are you such a retard? Uh, I don't know, man. You don't know. You sound horrible, man. Don't call into people's thing. Don't drive, sir. Thank you for the money. But don't yeah, drive. that's a really... Man. What a bonehead. Just order some pizza or whatever. Anyone else, else want to call in and try their luck? No, Colin, I want to talk to somebody, but what do I has, do? They're all horrible. Nobody has thoughts. I promise you. Come I, on. Isn't everyone that, has thoughts. Unbelievable. So everyone just sits there and criticizes, and then this is what their counter is? Well, I wish like all those people, because there are people, you see some people do have things to say, but you know what? People get shy. They don't want to do this. Hello, you're on the show. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Okay, what? What? I'd like to tell a story. I would, I, love, would, I would love I would to like, hear it. Okay. It's about the history of tapioca pudding. Okay. Okay. So. Sure. I would love to hear it. You you have free reign to say whatever you want. Uninterrupted. Okay. Well, you know, um, Asians, very old Asians, which we know are aliens, they get very old and wrinkly. And when they walk around and they collapse, they turn into goo. And then people scoop them up and give them to the tapioca factory. Mm-hmm. And is that's this, how they is, turn them to tapioca. Let me stop you right there. Is this what you're learning from all this? You only hear these parts, don't you? You types of people. I would like to thank Rena really Calm do. for this I mean, call. I'd like, like to thank Rena, Rena yeah. Calm. Yeah. This is Rena Calm here on, I the, mean, on the phones. That can't be what I sound like. Is it just a... Uh, is it this that is bad? absolutely Rena. Maybe that's why I'm not as popular as I wanted to be. She runs three dead moves. On well, Sunday thank you nights. for your shitty story oh, and continue yeah, this your is definitely work of comedy. You know, it wouldn't work if I was copying somebody else's brand of comedy. You know what I mean? 
doesn't work like that. Oh, here's uh, Sergio again. What is he going to say? Sergio, hello. Hello, man. Hi, how are you? I just wanted to say two quick things. First of all, I really think you should be tweeting and updating the Facebook. I think a lot of people must have forgotten about the marathon. Yeah, I don't understand mop or whatever the fuck language you're speaking. <laughs> you're man. very good I at English. I can't hear any of this. I should be reading Facebook? Why? Updating the Facebook. Oh, yeah, well, and you know. Second of all, uh, the conversation that Drew was trying to start, I think was very interesting. And you were just, um, uh, I don't know, you were just I, I, yeah, what? taking him from granted or something like that. Uh -huh. You were just dismissing him. That's right. Dismissing oh, him yeah. without consideration. Uh -huh. That's all I, I had to say. Yeah, yeah, I didn't give that one any thought. I'm glad that you came away with that one. You well, sound very confident on the phone. I don't mean that. But didn't want any conversation there, and it could have been interesting. And the Facebook thing, I think you're misusing. You need to update the Twitter every hour and inform people. Is that <laughs> what? Inform people via the Twitter. Drew That's says it. he's very interested in meeting you. Do you want to set up an yeah, appointment? Yeah, Drew would like to buy you a cone, a kid's cone. Let's make an appointment. Yeah, what can we do to get you in our lives? Is there anything <laughs> I can do? You want to get a hotel right. together? Because I really like... Like what? Your money. I really like your money. and That's okay. about it. It's I, just, I, no, I just, I, I really can't understand. Did you understand what he said? He was breaking up at the end, I felt like. Oh, Are you on a computer what or on a phone? You have to update the Facebook. I have and the to Twitter. update my Facebook and Twitter. Yes, listeners must With listen what? to this. Who's it's Jess? Just that. Oh, to tell people to tune in. Yes. Oh, I will. Who's Jess? Okay, every hour, please. Uh, Not every nine hours. You know, he, he just keeps saying he wants a date every hour. Yourself. You will work in strange. marketing. Uh, a little. That's all right. People are gonna start waking up soon here in. Uh, you know the that one country <laughs> where all your movies come from, and then pe yeah, it's we're gonna get a whole new series of people are gonna go. They're still on, and then they'll be all excited because they're going to their high end jobs, and they'll be like, "Let's give them more money." Yeah, I have actually been listening the whole time. The, the things you, th I, yeah, I know, I know. How did you get fifty dollars? One hundred. Oh, one hundred. Oh yeah. One hundred and theory. I'm not treating you fairly. <laughs> How long have you been listening to the show, Saint Andreas? Oh, very years. Uh, How many? Five, six. five, he said. I think so. Five and or how six. How old are you? Many years. Twenty. Seven. Twenty. Twenty. Oh my yes. God! You started listening when you, I shaped your uh, teen to adulthood. Yes, you. Oh, okay. Very well, much. That's good. I'm crazy right now. And what do you do now that you're twenty? That's, that's safe and shaped, shaped I'm up. Sitting. Computer engineering. Computer engineering, just like I did. Well, you're on the right <laughs> path, son. Where do you live right now? Mexico. Guadalajara, Mexico. Okay, you can't call it Mexico. This isn't a cartoon. Guadalajara, Mexico. Mexico. It's called Mexico. Mexico, Mexico, Mexico right. with a Chicago yeah. accent, please. <laughs> Not Mexico. Mexico. We got to get the cheese from the pussy cato. <laughs> Andule. <laughs> Where in Mexico? Pussy. That's a big place with a lot of dust. Where in Mexico? Guadalajara. Where? Guadalajara. Guadalajara. And you got that kind of kit. Where did you get American credit cards? Uh, the... It's my mom's. I just pay her back. Oh, my God. Really? Moms yeah. in Mexico have credit cards now? <laughs> wow. Mine they does. think of everything. Is, it, is your dad working as a busboy over here? He's sending you credit cards? Probably. I I think he steals that. them from the Well, I don't know about Guadalajara. If he's from, da if he's from uh, Mexico City, the F.A., then for sure. How did you find out about our podcast in Mexico? Podcast Ali. What? Podcast, podcast, podcast Ali. Ali. Look at that. Yes. Five years ago, you go, I'm sick of hearing the sound of gunshots. I need to hear sound. This is how he learned English. American boy comedy. This is how he learned English. Did you learn English listening to me? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what? I think I'm a very good English Could you imagine man. if you learned English from that them? way? You perfected it. Yes. With your help. 
Is this a the, dream come true to the talk only, with him? Uh, Maybe. A little bit. Not really. He's getting, like, blushy. The only word he can say perfectly in an American accent is faggot. Yeah, can you say faggot for me? Faggot. Thank you. And it's better please than, share with your friends. It's better than your Mexico. Spread the word that we're taking their down. Uh, hello, you're on the Red Bar Show. Mike, have you ever thought about coming to Denver? No, never, yeah. actually. Why? Sell me on it. Denver, Colorado, man. It's home no, of the, I, yeah, uh, I've heard of it. Ooh, the state. state. Why should I go there? Nice pitch. Because I have a hundred friends who will come see you. Oh, my God. A hundred? You have a hundred friends? Oh, my God. You have a hundred friends? Do you know any of them? That's crazy. I promise you that you couldn't get four to come see us. Promise. You really don't think that I can get four you, friends to come see you? Uh, I think it would be that would be probably the tops if you tried your artist. It's very tough to get people to come out to things. They'll say, oh, yeah, for sure. They'll never come. Have you ever, yeah, brought, but have you ever tried to go anywhere besides New York or L.A.? Um, to do a show? Yeah. Um, why no, buddy? no, we haven't. Because there's not, I, you know, why would I want a vacation? There are not going to be enough listeners in Denver. Uh, I know there's about a hundred here. How do you know that? Because I have Facebook and I, I monitor this kind of shit. You monitor my demo? Well, no, I monitor. Listen, why don't we make a deal? Listen to your show. You Find sell a hundred. Why don't we make a deal? I'll set, up set up an online brown paper tickets thing. Sell one hundred tickets to the show for twenty five. Fuck up, Drew. Uh, why did you okay. do that? Not nice. Who, who are you? Not nice. Who are you? All right, no, no, fine. We'll switch spots. We'll put you on. You're you're on the air now. You're making yourself a public figure. Now we'll all judge you for your ridiculous ideas about promotion. So you're going to get 100 people to come out to a show in Denver. I'm giving you a way to do that, you fucking moron. And if you do that, we'll go to do the show. And also, by the way, in your fucking <laughs> flippant ridiculousness, when you thought you would be cool to get in front of the people who who don't even like you if they met you, and, 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 and tell me to fuck off, that's fine. I don't really care if you like me based on this persona that I've created or whatever. But, uh, you know, you know uh, get the 100 people out and, and, uh, and we'll do the show. Also, well, how do you want me to wait, prove it? That the I thing is, the people. thing is, when I do stand up at the show, you'd be like, uh, uh, I don't really like you on the radio, but that was fucking." You, they're all the same. You always love the stand. It's because you're. It's in context. Yeah, if Drew didn't have stand up, all he would do is know how to play Weezer covers. Yeah, I know. I, I Drew's fucking CD. It fucking sucked ass. Drew didn't have a CD. I can say right off the bat, there's Can no way there's a hundred people that can tolerate your attitude. I You're think terrible. what Drew's saying is we really like your idea, and I want you to run all of my events now, and I will give you all my money. Mike. Oh, I'm sorry. Anybody who says they have 100 friends has zero, because if you know I, him a people ticket. you consider your friends. I don't have 100 friends, but I know I have 100 people who will come to a Red Bar event in all right. So create the event, so, man. Yeah, yeah. How are you going to get people find who are your friends to come to? Find a venue. Find a venue. Set it yeah, up. I have a venue. Buy, buy a plane ticket. And I, we are being on there with them. You really... Hey, do you, what I'm saying is I was What's the venue? I wasn't saying uh, you're wrong, but it's very tough, like, to get 100 people out to any show. No, it's not. It's, it's not for you, man. I'm telling... <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. nice. I yeah, guess. Mike, believe in Yeah, yourself. that's so supportive. That, that was hard that, for you to uh, deal with. Maybe Denver. Well, listen, this some, guy lives in, yeah. he hasn't breathed oxygen in I four know, years. I know, and I've only done a few shows. Fuck um, off, Drew. Hey. That's, you know, that's, it was funny when you said it the first time, and it keeps getting funnier. I love the people from Denver because it's they It's really funny. You're a funny guy, man. Fuck off, Drew. I've never heard that said. Oh. Uh, ever. <laughs> You're a pretty funny Listen, guy. We'll come to This D is your town. shining moment, and you've uh, created a fraudulent promotion idea, and you told me to fuck off twice. Fraudulent. It's he fraudulent. 100 people. Come on. He just doesn't know better. You, you think this guy knows how to promote shows? I always tell people there'll be hundreds of people. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I bet you don't even you live in Denver. Out. What burb do you live in of Denver? Why are we mad at him? Because he's a moron. Because he said fuck he's off, wasting time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you mad at me? 
You're more. Because you said fuck off, Drew. I just told you. I'm you, not necessarily mad at you. More like Boulder. Your brain does not work <laughs> as well as mine, so I don't yeah, want to talk well, to it. Yeah, come to Boulder, too. There's 100 people there, too. Oh, yeah, 100 people oh everywhere. Oh, my God. I'm like really. More like Jean Bonnet Rams guys. Cool. Neger, Am I right? Neger World, World Tour. Yeah, Neger Everyone World knows Open. you here, Mike. Everyone knows you here. How do you. There's that's no way possible true. If if so, everyone pitch in, buy me a plane ticket. I'll come out and suck all your dicks tomorrow. I'll buy you a plane ticket. Please do. I would love to take a vacation. I'll hang out with you for one day. How hey? How old are you? I'm 23. 23. Do you have a job? Yes. What do you do? I work at a restaurant. You oh my god! I love restaurants. Which one? <laughs> Mediterranean restaurant. Is it the Neger Restaurant and Grill? Yes. <laughs> I opened that a couple weeks ago. I hope you're in not Denver? mad. It was going to be a surprise. In Denver? Yeah. Grand opening. We'll do a grand opening. It we'll was kebab week. People hate it. It's just our studio recording of uh, when we were jamming over and over again, and they're not eating. They're just in a room. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's called Neger Bar and, and Restaurant and Grill and Restaurant. It was kebab week. He had to open. Well, I'm Wait. sure a guy who, runs, who works at a restaurant... Uh, is going to do a great job running a show. That's all it takes. A general understanding of restaurants. He can create a set list or like a, a running order. Because I think he's, he's excited. Seen he wants to see us there. I really do. He just made the mistake of overshooting. Yeah, and tell me to fuck off. When did he did? He told twice. Me to fuck off? What did he did? Twice. I don't hear the word fuck anymore. Happened twice. I don't hear the word. Drew. Not that I care, but like, you know, this is what you do. I love you. He got like really mad at you. Uh, I don't like, care. Fuck off, Drew. Yeah, because he thinks because he sees all the things that people write, and then goes, "Well, oh, no, I'll, you're just kind of a gay asshole." This is how I'll win them over. You know, I'll be cool because they hate him and I'll hate him. You're the bo- you guys are the, bo- the most sheep-like fucking idiots I have ever. See, heard. That's not a nice thing to do. <laughs> the people who aren't like that yeah. though won't get mad. Yeah, but a lot of them are sheep and. They, you know, <laughs> See, now they're Dude, your head looks like a giant black sheep, man. Oh, I'll get a hundred of my other sheep. The Neger Waffle House and Blues Bar. Nothing to do with racism. Sponsored by CD Warehouse. Uh, <laughs> wouldn't that be funny if it said that on the sign? Mike. <laughs> yeah. Will you please come to Denver? Probably not, no. What do I want uh, to do there? I, we, I just told you how to get them. I was, I was not kidding. You told me to fuck off. If you can get each one of the, if you can get half of those people to email me, I will set up a show uh, for next month. So you're talking 50 people emailing me. If you can me. get 50 people to email me and, vow, and say from different email addresses. We will all buy $25. Th- we will buy a $25 ticket if you come out to Denver. If you can do that within a week, okay. I, will, I will set up a show in a month. Okay. Good night. Drew, you're a faggot. Oh, that's funny too. Where did you learn Good that night, word? Good night, faggot. <laughs> That's funny. Good night, faggot. Is that I, funny? I don't know. I'm Maybe. into people being called faggot. He just reduced his number from 100 to 50. No, I told him 50. <laughs> but he agreed. Because I'm willing to even no, go for No, because 50 up. for if sure. If you can get 50, yeah. then... And then you could promote it. I don't think he'll be able to get 10. Of course no. not. Can you imagine? I don't think he's old enough to get into the bar. Well, first of all, I could like, say I have a free show where I'm talk, handing talking, out hundred dollar bills. Talking percentages, and you, it's, how many people do you talk to a day? My guess is that could honestly minor. bring a hundred people Me? to a show, like people that you know in your life. No, what like, he's saying that is that person a hundred listeners that he's talked to. The, the fact that he says he talks to a hundred no people that's not that's not real. Yeah, he's probably crazed. It's Most crazy. of these people have found us because they're locked up or something. There's no way he's talked to 100 people in the last month. Of course not. You're based in Chicago, and I live in Chicago, and I don't know 100 people that listen to you. Yeah. Legitimately, like, they actually know the show. That's what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, so anyone it, else who says that is full of shit. Well, you know, maybe he's just crazed. You know, some people see things and they get, uh, oh. Hey, Sahar. Wake up, baby. He's a har. Just Sahar was sleeping on my couch, which is not even intended for people to sit on. These interns come, they sit on the edge of a couch. Didn't they have a family? They don't sit on stuff like that. <laughs> 
get your hands off the walls. You know, people those no two that we, that I saw that let me in. Who ugly and fatty, ugly face and fat body? Well, I believe that those were their names. We had two girl interns here who I swear to God they've probably never had their pussies touched ever. No. Ever. Everyone's had. Wait, everyone's no, smokes. that is not true. There's no way you're talking about. Ugly face and fatty, are you? Yeah, ugly face and fat body. You're did talking you about them? them? Man, yeah, oh, I, I totally them. did. I had, I had an old blind man stick that I kind of touched that. They looked with. miserable. This is what happened. Because you said, hey, I my name is held hostage. Ugly face. I go, I need you to go get some booze for us. They both looked at each other and go, we're not 21. I go, ugh. <laughs> get them out of here. <laughs> you are gross. And thanks for wearing your maroon college sweatshirt. It really makes you look beautiful. Fucking no. bitch. Take your ponytail out. Take a shower before you come somewhere, first of all, if you're a girl. You should be wearing your best dress. <laughs> a gown. A gown. Something that your dad forced you to wear when he forced you to go to prom because nobody wanted to go with you. Hello, you're on the Red Bar Show. Uh, hi, Mike. I just wanted to say don't go to Denver. It's all RV dealerships and furniture stores. I know. That's what I was thinking. I Wait, I love furniture. Get out of here. Uh, let's take another one. Hello, you're on Red Bar. Uh, uh I, I just wanted to say. Yeah. Hello? Same guy. What, how did that happen? It was a strange ghosting occurrence. These demons. Yeah. Sneaking into my life slowly. They're black. Sahar, where are, uh, uh, when does the hour end, etc., 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 etc.? We're giving the away Denver Demons tickets. 4.50. So we have 20 minutes to the next hour. Keep your donations coming. Remember, our goal is 9 a.m. I think it's starting to get a little better. And also, the sun comes out. We're going to do lots of gags. We'll draw the shades. We get some of that vitamin D. I think I'll call every place that wronged me this week. Donate for the fact that you don't know anybody else doing anything better. Like, if you think to yourself, I have a friend doing something better than this, then give money to them. But in the meantime, you don't know anyone doing anything better. Sahar writes me, I'm Donate right now. Why are you dying, Sahar? People are trying to do some, you know, art. Art here. I've been this up since art. six in the morning. No. I have to wake up the same time you do, probably. That $30 could go to Staples. I have to, to be Staples. at the club at the same time you do. I know. Well, sometimes jobs are a little trying. Let's make some prank calls. Um, I would love to. I'm trying to figure out. I need a few things. I need my Harper medicine, which is overdue. Okay. I need a fresh pot of coffee. Now make okay. that a pot of coffee. I need mm-hmm. cigarettes. Yeah. Breakfast. Breakfast. <clears throat> Guns. Of things. Magazines. Basically anything I can get from an airport. Whores. Where this is getting, getting very where, low. Where, where are you going to While get we're airport asking. breakfast? I'm not going to get any breakfast. I have this one place to deliver breakfast. They say we deliver breakfast. One place out of the and whole it was, city. It's not going to be. Oh, my God. Breakfast doesn't feel like it should be ever delivered. I don't think you should put eggs in things and get, ship them. Like cooked eggs. No. Doesn't seem right. You shouldn't take eggs home. As a eggs should come off the pan onto the plate. That's the only transaction of egg. Uh, prank McDonald's, they're opening right now. Uh, we live in a city, and they're open. They've been open all night and all year and all century. Oh, man. And they don't know English, so a prank to them is like going I there. On the... Yeah, and you can't prank a person who's living a prank. You know. Yeah, you, you prank McDonald's, you get Sergi on the other line. Um, sir, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, McDonald's, how to have you Yeah. You can't just do that. You can't just... Say it in a tone that sounds like an uh, answer. Um, so the the hour is uh, ending in about uh, 18 minutes. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to coffee up. I can't take another Adderall because I do have to sleep in time for uh, tonight's events. Maybe I'll just not show up to Snubfest. And when they call me, go, oh, yeah, I didn't want it. I wasn't planning it. I find it to be, uh, I find it to be repulsive. That's what I'll say there. She Just goes, send oh my Junior. God, I thought you were really into it. Yeah, I should send Junior as me. And I'll be like, Junior, you can drink a whole bottle of whiskey before you go. He will anyway. Even if you yeah, say you I can't drink I didn't ever. Yeah, I thought I didn't know nothing. 
Um, okay, so we have to uh, we have to figure out if we're going to make it to the next hour, which I really want to do. I want a coffee up. I want to breakfast up. I want to wash my face. I want to get some cigarettes going here. I want to get some booze in my system. I really want to start kicking here. None of us can drive, so we better talk. Like, it's really up to you. Sure. Really. We got to get something real nice going. Do you want us to drive home? Sahar only Everybody? half booked the show because she only want? half works her job. This is the problem. We have no intern here right now. Uh, we haven't had, you know, any excitement. No one said nigger in like... Oh, my God. Kenny. So Look, Kenny. I don't know how things Kenneth. are done in Springfield, Missouri. Over the arm. I know. But I don't know how things are where people are not, you know, living to their full white person life. Hello, you're on the show. Hello? I'm going to leave you. Hey, Kenneth, you're on the show. Kenneth. 